Hello, my dear friends of electronics. My name is Lauren Völker. Today I want to redesign this uh, board because I need a little bit more power and uh, we have now new wireless power charging with uh, higher power and I have only three amp, uh, 1 amp and now I need 3 amp and for that reason I check the catalog and choose a wire to board connector which I take here for the sample box and um, this is according to the catalog and data sheet 3 amp no problem I don't need more but I'm not so sure for this reason I will ask my colleague Timo to help me. Hey Timo, can you help me a little bit? Hey Loran, how are you? Fine, fine. Take a chair please. Oh yeah. What can I do? Look, uh, I have here following. I have to redesign this board to 3 amp. And for that reason I choose this connector which is uh, wired to board 3 amp. And this is my maximum current. What do you think? It will be reliable? It will be okay? Okay, so 3 amp maximum current. And what is the maximum temperature on your end application? Maximum or, or ambient will be something like 80 amp, 80 Celsius. Ah, maximum. okay. Because when we speak about the maximum current here, so this is measured in a lab, under lab conditions. Right. So under a defined temperature 20 degrees. Right. And uh, there we have to respect the D-rating. Mm -hmm. D-rating. I know D-rating from the inductors. Uh, can you show me what exactly means this derating in yes, this case? Yes, of course. Do you have a piece of paper? Uh, let me take the flip chart. So, Laurent, when we speak about derating, first we have the y and the x axis. So what do we have here? Here we have our maximum temperature. In that case, for that connector, 105 degrees maximum. And here, where the axes are crossing each other, we have the 20 degrees. Why 20 degrees? Because we measure the maximum current under lab conditions, that means 20 degrees. Then when you look in the data sheet, we have the 3 amp maximum current. So here we have to write down the current, 3 amp. And what happened? As higher the ambient temperature, as lower is the current. So it means in your case, 80 degrees ambient temperature, we are somewhere here. So we can use that curve to analyze what is your maximum current. In that case, something like one and a half amps. It's much lower compared to the maximum current. And that is what we have to respect when we think about the D-rating. Okay, then I need another one. What you suggest, what could be... Yeah, we need one with a, with a higher current rating. So, okay. for example, that one here, we have a current rating seven amps, that means Three is necessary. So we respect the, the D rating. Okay. Seven, okay. we have enough buffer. So let me check number of pins. Part number eight to two. It should be in the box. I have that here. All right. It's a little bit bigger, but it fits to my application and I'm safe. So I have space enough. Excellent. Thank you very much for your yeah, help. You're welcome. I'm happy if you are lucky. I hope you enjoy it and please watch my next videos. Stay in touch with me, ask your questions and follow me on my channels.